This is Sir Tap Tap, and this is Spent. It's a game by the Urban Ministries of Durham, which I've never heard of until now. They apparently serve over 6,000 people every year. But you'd never need help, would you? Well, let's prove it. It's kind of loud. It's kind of really loud. Over one something million Americans are unemployed. Now imagine one of them is you, and your savings are gone. You've lost your house, and this is going really fast. And you're down to your last $1,000. Can you make it through the month? No, I can't. I can't do it. It's just too hard, man. Star. This is so overwhelming. I want to escape. Okay, let's actually play the game. I just find it kind of funny you can quit just right off the bat. Yeah. You're hard. You're Well, you're not that hard to read, but... I've lost my house. And I already read that. Can we make it through the month? We're running out of money fast. That... When I first read that, I looked up to my money and I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be falling down constantly, but no, that's not quite how it works. So we're going to find a job. Any job. That sounds like a movie where we're going to turn into an assassin to feed our family, but no. We can be a restaurant server. Two dollars an hour. Is that, even with the whole with tips thing, is that legal? That does not sound right, but whatever. Nine dollars an hour for warehouse and shipping. 20 pounds? Really? 20 pounds. That's so amazingly difficult. My cat could probably lift 20 pounds. Temp administrative skills needed. If you know your way around an office, we've got positions available for you. Temporary workers needed for crap to qualify. Okay, whoa. This is typing test. I've... Wow. You're supposed to read something, but whatever. You are timed. Streets. I... I'm going to lose this, lose this, by the way. I messed it up already, and it's amazingly picky. In fact, I'm not sure you can actually win this and get this job. I'm not sure if it's even real, because they have unreal selection um, criteria. This is to power. It bores in the need. Yeah, you failed the typing test. We are sorry, but your typing skills suck, and we hate you. Go to hell. We're running out of money fast. So we're going to be a warehouse worker. We're going to lift We're gonna lift all 20 of those pounds. We're going to be breaking our fucking backs. 20 pounds. It's amazing. I would probably need an entire hand to lift 20 pounds. It's that hard. But yeah, we're going to get $300, because taxes, we don't like those. Those are silly. This job may seem like a great deal, but all of that lifting, all those twenties of pounds, repetitive packing can be brutal on your body. Dun dun dun. Congratulations, would you like to opt in for health insurance? Well, we're only playing this for one month, so hopefully I won't, like, cut myself in half with a saber saw within a single month. And this game got oddly silent. Even when health insurance is offered, the premiums are often so high that many low-income workers opt out, just like you did. Let's hope you don't get sick. <laughs> Ran out of breath to do a proper evil laugh there. So we can live in the frickin' boonies, or we can live right near to work. And yeah. It's about a hundred bucks difference. Let's live close, just because that way we can walk to work, and I consider that a lot better. Plus, it's only, yeah, it's only a hundred bucks difference. A lack of affordable housing is the number one cause of homelessness. The definition of affordable is 30% of income. But you and over 12 million other American households spend way more on housing. Your new apartment is too small for my stuff. Oh, crap. Where was I living before? Anyway, we don't care about our stuff, because, honestly, this is a video game, and I'm just trying to get to the end of the month. So let's sell that crap. Screw it. Well, that's that's not too bad. We doubled our money. My family pet is sick and won't get better without treatment. Well, why do give them to a friend or something? Well, I'm sorry, family pet. That would be a cruel bastard. I'm sorry. It's more or less the only way to get win this game. That's like the point, you know. It's got a, it's got a message and all of that crap. 
and you're pulling out of the parking lot with your kid in the back seat when you accidentally back into a parked car, snapping your neck and killing you instantly. Causing a big dent in your skull and a broken face. What do you want to do? Pay the damage. Um, I don't think we can do that, buddy. Let's drive away. Friend sends your child a card. Inside is ten dollars. Oh. Yeah, I can't steal ten dollars from my own child, <laughs> even in a video game. That's just mean. Sweet! We get food stamps. Let's apply. <laughs> That's a dick move. Oh. I haven't gotten that one before. This, there's a lot of options that can happen to you in this game. Your character has insanely bad luck to, like, comedic point. You know what's funny about this? I can easily pay both of these. Right now. But, let's pay the electric bill. And the gas has been cut off. Yeah, it's turned back on, but we have to pay a $200 deposit plus what we already owe. So, because we didn't want to pay the money that we already had, it's going to cost us even more money for a stupid reason. But we got payday money! Yeah! Countries, our country has introduced an option where, instead of being paid by the hour, you can be punched in the face. I mean, paid by the piece. What do you want to do? I kind of assume the hourly paycheck is going to be really bad. Pay peace. Wait, pay peace. I have no idea what that means. I assume it means um, it's like commission, but for how much work you do. Let's let's try it. It's probably terrible, even though you're working as fast as you can. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. All of the options are going to be terrible, pretty much. The local community college is offering an online course in computer science, which could be your ticket to a higher paycheck. The class costs $200. Why would a computer science course help me when I'm loading boxes? Also, this is a one-month thing, so I severely doubt that's going to help. My child is struggling with math and needs help to get to grade level. What do you want to do? Well, I want to tutor my child, because... No. Oh. I'm apparently retarded, and I can't teach maths to my son. Or daughter, or whatever they are. I don't even know, I'm that stupid. I don't have any friends that know about maths. And I don't have an internet connection. So I can't use Wikipedia and teach my child. So let's let my child fail. Like many Americans. You didn't have high enough math skills to tutor your child because you're retarded, and you don't have an internet connection. Honestly, math... Unless your child is in college, the math they're doing is going to be stupidly easy. So, just teach your damn kid. Don't pretend it's that hard. Now, if you, you have to have time to spend with your kid, but... Anyway, I'm ranting. A friend of a friend needs a place to stay. He's offered you $200. Well, I say punch him in the face. Friend of a friend. Hello, phone call. I've never gotten this before. What? Bullshit. What? Overcharges. Sure. I'm super poor, and how did I get a freaking 500 or $250 and freaking, um, bad... I don't even know. What? Why did I get that payment? I have no idea. Random stuff just happens to you in this game. Chicken. That's healthy. We should get some chicken for the kids. It's got lots of, uh, vitamin C for chicken. And let's wash that down with some toilet paper. Mix that toilet paper with some milk, make some batter. Put the chips in that batter with some cheese. There you have some nice party favors. Let's put some apples in that toilet paper dip. Pour some cereal in it. Put some peanut butter in it. Let's just buy the whole goddamn store. <laughs> Take a look at your cart. You can see why I have diabetes. Oh. Yeah, you get yelled at if you buy too little stuff. But, um, as a serious note, uh, lots of cheap food is pretty bad for you, like the chips and crap. So, yeah, the obesity is a real problem there. Your best friend from childhood is getting married, and they want you to go to the wedding. What the fuck? No way, dude. I'm sorry, buddy. 350 bucks, I don't think so. And yeah, my payday sucks because I picked that option. Your neighbor's moving out and offered you to pay 50 bucks. 
but your kid will be playing in a big game. What is it, Halo? Call of Duty? I'll take the job, buddy. You'll miss the game, but that $50 will make a difference. Which is a big reason parents with low income tend to be less involved in the show. It's an alternative. It's easier to look for extra ways if you have access to the web. Oh, I don't have access to the internet because I'm retarded. What do I want to do? Um, hmm. Home internet. I have, I have kind of enough spare money. That probably only costs money and doesn't give me any advantage, but whatever. I'm an internet savvy buddy. A bunch of friends are going to a free concert tonight and you want to go. But you've got a kid to worry about. Let's... Let's stay home. Everyone needs a break sometime, except not everyone can afford one. That's probably why stress and layer among low work You're walking into work so when someone approaches you in the parking lot. They murder you. They want to organize a union and push for better pay. What do you do? You punch them in the face and keep walking. Like you, many low-income workers would rather keep quiet than push for better working conditions because they don't want to risk their jobs. Or get murdered by that shady person in the parking lot. Jeez. Why would you approach me in the parking lot, not like at work, you weirdo? You come out of your house to discover that someone has siphoned the gas from your car and you're already running late from work because you don't have an alarm or something. Let's take the bus. It takes three buses and five times longer than it would... What? It cost me five dollars for gas to get to work, so... I, it's probably within walking distance. I don't think public transit was the best idea here. This, the main character's main problem seems to be that he has some serious mental difficulties. Though this game hasn't been that bad, I usually do stuff like cause multiple accidents and break my face in. Anyway, your grandfather has passed away. You've always been very close to him, and you want to go to the moor until service which is being held several states away again. I don't think so. You're trying to kill me. You need to do laundry. Thirty bucks for a laundromat? What the hell? Is it like a dollar per wash? No, even, it's like five dollars per wash, apparently. It's like, anyway. A neighbor stops by and offers you hand-me-down murder from their family. It is in tatters. Why would I turn it down? Oh, it's, in, wait. Yeah, why would I turn this down? Just to be a dick? You weren't paying enough attention, you broke. Something as you're putting it in a box. <laughs> uh, that that I'm sure is not going to be a good idea, and we're we got a fair amount of money, considering. You spend a couple of months living off your. Cr what? What have I been? <laughs> oh. What the hell have I been buying? I've apparently been poor because I'm a moron and I spend several thousand dollars on random crap that clearly hasn't been helping my financial situation in any way. Probably have some, like, frickin' gold-encrusted toilet seats or something. Let's pay the minimum balance or whatever. So you continue to pay the only minimum. The interest will murder you in your face in 17 years and you will die. And your card will not be paid off. Because you suck. I'm not sure what the Facebook thing is. I kind of hope this doesn't post to my Facebook. On the way to drop your kid off at school, something blew in your car. Probably a hooker. You don't know what's wrong. It can't be good. What do you do? Well, I don't have that money, so I'm going to ask a friend for help. And no Facebook pop-up, so I'm glad for that. There does seem to be Facebook connectivity, but I don't know. Oh, hey, there's jobs. Wait. Spend your pants piggy bank. Oh. Get a payday loan. Yeah, don't do not do that. Donate plasma actually wouldn't be that bad, probably, but... I have a labor-intensive job, so I probably shouldn't do that either. I did not even notice these buttons, by the way, my first time I played. You can also do the I can't do this button and quit. Like a quitter.
Everyone is pitching in for a lottery pool. There's only two days left. Lottery pools are for retards, and now they're going to say... No, it doesn't! Are you stupid? Your expected value is less than the amount of money you're paying in. That means it is not an investment. It is a waste of money. Do not buy lottery anythings. You're walking down the street when someone drops a $10 bill. What do you want to do? I murder them and see if there's anything more in their wallet. And I give it back to them. Your bathroom sink used to have a small leak. Now it has a big leak. You can't put it off any longer. What do I want to do? Well, I can probably buy parts for like $5 at Lowe's. Or Home Depot or something. Okay. I, I kind of doubt that unless I needed like a lot of piping here. That's better than I usually did, but... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, my gas bill that I couldn't have possibly paid... Ends up on my thing. Yeah, this is an edutainment game, obviously. And it's made by this Urban Ministries of Durham, some charity. It's some... It's a local charity. To be serious, you know, donating to charity is good. Poverty is bad and stuff. Yeah, the, this is some of their stats, apparently. Yeah, it can make, you know, to be all cheesy and shit, it can make a big difference with just a small donation and whatever. Support your local charities and crap. Get involved. I don't know what that button does, and I kind of don't want to click it. Privacy about donating. See what privacy. Whoa! Never mind. Yeah, that's all on their... This is their website. McKinney... Yeah, I have no idea who McKinney is. I only found out about this game, and... This time it wasn't so bad. Sometimes your character is just... Amazingly horrible luck, and it's hilarious. Or you do amazingly stupid things, but this time it wasn't that bad. But yeah, you should donate stuff, I guess.